CBS launching a new initiative that school leaders are calling a bold vision for education. Expectations are not only high for the initiative and what it can do. Expectations are high for students to do better and prepare for the future. Joining me this morning is Superintendent Mary Ronan and Deputy Superintendent Laura Mitchell. First of all, thank you very much for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. You're excited about this. You're calling it bold. Why? Well, we're working on both ends with early literacy and also at the other end to make sure that our youngsters are prepared for college and career. Well, in terms of literacy, you've been doing really well. You have a literacy guarantee and it's been working really well with the third graders. Tell me about that. Yes, you know, in the state of Ohio, the governor has a third grade guarantee that if you don't pass the third grade reading test, you aren't promoted. So last year, 97% of our third graders were promoted. And we have 3,000 third graders in the district, so it was a big job. I love that. Laura, um, how confident are you that this new bold program will work and why do you feel that way? Yeah, so I feel that it's definitely going to work because it's going to give our students a competitive edge in the world of work. And so we started this initiative and it's called My Tomorrow. And My Tomorrow, okay. My Tomorrow. It's My Tomorrow for the students and our future for the city of Cincinnati and the community. And so it started with our 7th and 8th grade students and um, we've really um, redone our curriculum, made it very robust. We've added a lot of advanced placement courses to our curriculum as well as dual enrollment at the upper levels, which will actually to give our kids the opportunity to get college level credits while they're in high school. Now there's an advisory team uh, and I know we have information in our control room that I want to put up on your screen. Tell me about the advisory team and what is it designed to do? Sure. So research shows that if students have a strong connection with a positive adult within the school, they are 30 times more likely to be successful in college and a career. Yeah. And so there's an advisory session that takes place once a week for 45 to 60 minutes where teachers work with a small group of kids. They look at their student achievement data. They also really focus on some career goals and aspirations, and they develop a plan that will actually help them be prepared to launch into a career, whether it's college, military, job, or whatever they actually want to do once they leave our doors. And Mary, you're nodding your head right there. I mean, when you talk about, when I was young, they just said, just hit the books, hit the books, hit the books. The world is much more complicated now, especially for these young people, correct? Exactly. And employers are looking for job skills, the ability to work in a team, plus, you know, job etiquette, just being punctual, those kinds of things. So we want to make sure that our students have a competitive edge. Because, you know, we used to be competing with the suburban districts. Sure. Now we're competing with children in China and sure. India. And, and really, when it comes to doing well in the workplace or doing well in school or even in sports, it's all about confidence. Do you think this new program does a lot to build a student's confidence across the board? That's what we're hoping, that they'll have the technology skills, they'll know how to work in a team, they'll know public speaking, they'll have the writing skills. All of those are components that our children need to be competitive. And, and you talk about technology, there's a new software component of this. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we're using a platform, it's called Playbook, and it was actually developed in-house. And what it is, is it allows the students to log on each and every day, and it gives them information about their student achievement, how they're performing, and they can also get individualized plays. So it may say, I noticed that last week you didn't do very well in your algebra exam, here are some things that you can do to improve, and it will um, gear them towards um, sites that they can go to for tutorials. Now, we have a software that we want to pull up in our control room. I didn't know how to pronounce it, but the software began with an M. Do you guys have that in the control room? Uh, is it Navian software? Naviance, yes. So, so tell me about that in terms of the students and how they will react to this. Yes. So Naviance allows the kids to do a lot of things. First yeah. of all, it can tell them what are their strengths in terms of surveys that they can take. It also really prepares them for college, so it can help track their um, progress towards graduation in terms of course credits, um, college information. It gives a, a wide range of college information about different schools, what they offer, majors that you might want to um, be interested in as you pursue a college job. Uh, Mary, my last question is for you. Uh, you've been working in the education field for a long, long time. A very long time. When you, when you talk about where you were in the beginning and what challenges you faced and where you are today, what challenges you face, what's new? And, and how do you have to change the approach in terms of making sure students do well? It seems like everything is new these days. We have new standards. We have new tests. We have a new report card. We have a new teacher evaluation system. It's hard to keep up sometimes. Sure. Things have really changed. The same old way of doing things is not enough. Cincinnati Public doing something new and making sure that kids are educated. My Tomorrow Initiative starting at CPS. Uh, Laura, Mary, always good talking with you both. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. day. Thank you. All right, we have much more straight ahead. You know